Hello everybody, welcome back to Quest for Thunder. For those of you that are joining us for the first time, this channel is dedicated to finding a sailboat, refitting her, and then sailing around the world and bringing anyone who's interested in coming along for the, for the journey. Today we'll be looking at a Morgan 382. They're asking 59,900 for this boat. She's in pretty good shape as you'll see in the video. Um, she has some configuration issues that kind of make it a non-starter for us. But she was a nice looking boat and the, the search continues. So again, thank you for uh, joining us on Quest for Thunder. Uh, please consider hitting the like button and sharing these videos with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. That way you'll get the uh, updated content as it uh, becomes available. Again, thanks for joining us. Fair winds and following seas from the crew of Thunder. Bye. So this is the Morgan. As you can see from this angle, we're on the bow looking back towards the aft of the boat. Top sides of this boat look pretty good. Her rigging was in good shape. All of the uh, stainless steel was in good shape. Uh, the mast seemed like it was in good shape, uh, as well as all the rigging, the standing rigging. A uh, nice tall mast here, single spreader, as you can see. Um, looks like the sail bag was in really good shape. We didn't get to see the sails, um, but I'm sure if we had additional interest, we could probably do that. You'll see here they have a full bimini and dodger. Um, that's the broker there trying to get into um, the boat there and uh, of course uh, instrumentation. Um, nice wide side decks, plenty of room to move around, nice big opening hatch up here in the forward end of the boat. Uh, great for letting in lots and lots of um, ventilation. Uh, of course the standard roller furling set up uh, up forward and a CQR anchor. Um, I was uh, not impressed with the amount of chain, no, very little bit of, very little chain, lots of road though, but um, I'm a ch proponent of chain. I think you need lots of chain and little road. Um, everything's led aft here. You can see the, um, the sheets and how it's being led aft so you can work from the cockpit. Um, it is a center cockpit uh, boat, a uh, nice deep cockpit, um, I, I, I would imagine probably staying pretty dry in this particular configuration. I'm not sure I like how the Boom Traveler is set up. It's there on the, oh, right there, you can see the halyards coming down from it. Um, but you know, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, moving inside, this is the view of the galley. The woodwork in here is really, really in good shape. As you can see, it's the um, matte finish. I didn't see a lot of water damage. There was uh, a few places here and there. A uh, two burner, a gimbaled stove, not a big fan. Uh, I'd like to have at least three. Um, and the only captain's after this quarter berth, uh, which was really kind of a deal breaker for us. We need a full aft cabin. Um, this isn't that big a boat, it's only 38 feet, but still, you know, we're looking for an aft cabin, uh, not a quarter berth. Uh, it is a nice deep quarter berth, but, uh, you know, it is a quarter berth. Here's the nav station, uh, electronics. It looks like the panel is kind of old, probably going to need some uh, renovation there. Uh, but there is a lot of storage and a lot of room for um, gadgets to be added if necessary. Um, pretty decent settee. The beam on this boat is only 12 feet. So it's not, you know, a really hugely wide um, boat. Uh, this looks like a pilot berth here uh, that they've uh, modified. Um, I'm not really sure if that's what it is or not. It, it looks a little narrow, but with the way the sides are, I would have thought it was a pilot berth. There is air conditioning in this boat. Now here's the part that really got us. Uh, this is the um, configuration of the V berth. It's kind of like a bunk bed sort of situation, uh, which I did not like at all. I mean, it's interesting to look at, great layout, but um, just, I mean, if you had small kids, maybe that would be a great way to go because they each have their own little small bed. You can put some curtains in there or whatever. Um, but for our purposes, since there is no aft cabin, that will probably be the primary cabin. Um, not not going to happen. Uh, the woodwork throughout this boat uh, looks pretty good. Um, the head is in good shape. All the fiberglass that's exposed is in fairly good shape. It looks like it's been well cared for. There wasn't any strange odors or anything like that for us to concern ourselves about. Uh, lots, of, lots of light in this boat, which was very, very pleasant. Um, a number of opening hatches and port lights. 
uh, so I was happy about that. Um, the engine in this boat is an old Perkins. Um, she looks like she probably could use some work. There's a nice view looking at, but overall it was a great boat. We enjoyed it.